Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss Pummerer rearrangement. There will be general introduction, mechanism and several examples based on this rearrangement. Let's start with the introduction. In a Pummerer rearrangement, an alkyl sulfoxide with alpha hydrogen in the presence of acetic anhydride rearranges to alpha acetoxy thioether. To draw the Pummerer rearrangement product without going into details of the mechanism, just draw the substrate, erase the oxygen and add acetoxy group at alpha position. Mechanism of Pummerer rearrangement This sulfoxide starting material has a resonating form with negatively charged oxygen and positively charged sulfur. Acetic anhydride reacts with negatively charged oxygen to produce acetoxy sulfonium ion and acetate ion. Elimination of acetic acid like this produces alkylidine sulfonium ion and acetate ion. Now addition of acetate ion to the double bond gives alpha acetoxy thioether. Now let's have some examples. Reaction of tetrahydro 2H thiopyrene 1 oxide with acetic anhydride. Here to draw the product just remove the oxygen and add acetoxy group here at alpha position. So the product will be 2 acetoxy tetrahydro 2H thiopyrene. Reaction of this phenyl sulfenyl spiroketone with acetic anhydride. Similarly, erase the oxygen of sulfoxide and put the acetoxy group to the carbon attached to the sulfur to get the structure of the product. So, the product will be like this. Reaction of one paratoyl sulfenyl propane 2 ohm with acetic anhydride in the presence of DMAP in dichloromethane. Here in this case to erase the oxygen of sulfoxide and add the acetoxy group to the carbon attached to the sulfur to get the product. Thus the product structure will be like this. Activators other than acetic anhydride in Pummerer rearrangement. So far we have discussed acetic anhydride as an activator in Pummerer rearrangement. But there are several other activators like trifluoroacetic anhydride, trifluoromethane sulfonic anhydride, paratoluene sulfonic acid, trifluoroacetic acid, thionyl chloride, titanium tetrachloride, etc. For example, when this sulfoxide is allowed to react with thionyl chloride in dichloromethane, the sulfoxide oxygen attacks on thionyl chloride to produce this cationic species and chloride ion. Proton abstraction from the alpha position and departure of leaving group leads to the elimination of sulfur dioxide and HCl and Generation of aryl alkylidine sulfonium ion as an electrophile and chloride ion as a nucleophile. Now, attack of chloride ion on electrophile like this generates alpha chlorothioether. Just like sulfoxides, selenoxide can also undergo Pummerer rearrangement. For example, when methyl 2 phenyl selenidyl Propanoate is treated with acetic anhydride produces corresponding Pummerer product which when treated with hydrogen peroxide produces selenoxide that undergoes syn elimination like this to produce methyl 2 acetoxy acrylate. Let's have another example in which compound A with phenyl selenyl group is treated with MCPBA to get Selenoxide analog B, which when treated with acetic anhydride, 
undergoes polymer reaction to produce compound C with phenyl senyl group. Compound C, when treated with hydrogen peroxide in the presence of pyridine, produces non-isolable compound D with selenoxide group, which undergoes elimination to give product E. Pomeral reaction with a nucleophile other than that generated from the activator. We have seen in the examples discussed so far that the nucleophile generated from the activator itself attacks the electrophile. But if we add some nucleophile or there is already a nucleophile in the molecule which is stronger than the generated nucleophile, then we would get the product with a stronger nucleophile. Let's have the basic understanding about these two cases one by one. This is our substrate. After addition of activator, there will be the formation of this electrophile. Now, the added nucleophile will attack the electrophile to produce the product. Let's have the second case where the nucleophile is from the substrate itself. The general structure of the molecule can be represented like as. In the presence of activator, sulfoxide group will form electrophile and then there will be intramolecular attack by the nucleophile like this to produce a cyclic product with exocyclic sulfide group. Now let's study some example of this type. The first example is the reaction of 2-methyl sulfonyl acetamide with toluene in the presence of paratoluene sulfonic acid under reflux. Here toluene also act as a solvent. 2-methyl sulfonyl acetamide reacts with paratoluene sulfonic acid to produce electrophile E+. There is one more possible electrophile E prime plus. E plus is mainly formed due to higher acidic nature of actimethylene hydrogen. So the reaction will occur via E plus. Methyl group in toluene is orthopara directing. But the para position is more reactive because of less steric hindrance. So the reaction will occur at para position to produce compound A as the major product. It has been found that the isolated yield of A is 49%. Reaction of N and dimethyl 2 methyl sulfonyl acetamide with 1 2 dimethoxybenzene in the presence of paratoluene sulfonic acid in 1 2 dichloroethane. Here, these are the two positions susceptible for the attack by an electrophile. But this position is more prone towards the attack by an electrophile due to less steric hindrance. Thus, this reaction leads to the formation of compound B as the major product with 42% isolated yield. Similarly, reaction of N and dimethyl 2-methyl sulfonyl acetamide with 1,3-benzodiaxazole in the presence of paratoluene sulfonic acid in 1,2-dichloroethane under reflux gives compound C as the major product with 93% isolated yield. B gets oxidized with sodium periodate to sulfoxide B1 which undergoes pomerol reaction with acetic anhydride to produce compound B which after workup produces oxoacetamide derivative B3. B3 after reduction with lithium aluminum hydride gives racemic mixture of macromarine which is a natural alkaloid. Desulfurization of compound C with zinc in acetic acid gives compound C1 which after reduction with lithium aluminum hydride in the presence of AlCl3 gives compound C2 which exhibits anti activity. Now let's have some examples in which 
the nucleophile is from the substrate molecule itself. This sulfoxide containing electron rich pyrrole ring when allowed to heat in THF in the presence of paratalloin sulfonic acid generates intermediate A1 with alkylidine sulfonium ion as an electrophile. A1 undergoes cyclization like this to produce A2 which after aromatization gives tetrahydroindole derivative PA. When sulfoxide B with an electron withdrawing amide group is allowed to heat in the presence of paratalloin sulfonic acid in 2 propanol generates intermediate B1 with alkylidine sulfonium ion as an electrophile which undergoes cyclization like this to generate intermediate B2. Aromatization of pyrrol ring in B2 by deprotonation gives B3 which undergoes aromatization of the 6 membered ring by enolization of the keto group and removal of thiomethanol to produce indole derivative PV. Compound C when heated with trifluoroacetic acid generates intermediate C1 which undergoes cyclization to produce tetrahydronephthalene derivative PC. Indole derivative D when heated in the presence of paratalloin sulfonic acid gives thionium ion D1 which is attacked by the aldehyde oxygen to produce intermediate D2. D2 eliminates proton for the aromatization to produce furoindole derivative PD. Now at last let's have a problem from the question paper of CSIR December 2018. In this we have to find the structure of the product formed when 2-phenylthiocyclodecanone is treated with one equivalent of MCPBA followed by acetic anhydride and then aqueous sodium carbonate. 2-phenylthiocyclodecanone reacts with one equivalent of MCPBA to produce sulfoxide A. Compound A undergoes acylation on sulfoxide oxygen to produce compound B which eliminates acetate ion to produce compound C. Acetate ion thus eliminated adds to the CS double bond to produce compound D which in aqueous sodium carbonate gets hydrolyzed to produce compound E. Compound E after elimination of thiophenol gives diketo compound F. So option 4 will be the right option. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much.